Now we're playing for the pressure of just trying to stay in the upper division and stave off relegation, Avery. Man, I'm just trying to get my level six and then you can have the lane. Like, please. <laughs> Cease fire. Cease fire, brother. Oh, one's back. That could be your first blood, and it will be very easily. Raven is the one to pick up the first blood of the game. So he also has Chrono. So if you don't set that up properly, Raven's going to turn it around on you. Raven is straight up Chrono on Akashi. That's going to be worst case scenario. Easy kill. The Torrent is not going to be enough to dissuade Blacklist from moving forward. And Laris have lost their carry. Again, if you're trading farm during those big old cooldowns, Black was pretty happy about it. And it kind, of, it kind of comes down to Polaris to make something happen. You have Ghost Shift up, you have Wrath of Nature. Another Clockwork kill on the menu? Fall back in, especially with the arrow. Torrent, actually not quite enough. Oh, no. And the Star Storm misses too. Okay, now they're going to use the egg on top of the two supports, so they will actually get Maybe both the mech goes out, saving AU. Once again, they just are lacking in the damage, and they have to maybe overcommit one last leap, and this time the Star Storm lands. Immediately goes for the TP out, but Carl will be able to get the rebuttal. A quick Crypt Swarm will be able to secure that one. Bosco is running at you, and Carl's running at the towers. Even with the Illusion Rune, he'll put just a bit more damage on this tower. Pins even joins in for a single hit. Now they are going to try and kill him here, but the silence goes out. All in the torrent. They're going to be able to pull him back in. Bosku. Oh, the static storm goes out. That's what an arrow. All things. A nice arrow, though. Getting the kill, maybe? No. Carl's still alive. The fire spirits burn out. Finally, they get a two man chronos here, though. Locking down the Kunkka. Oh, no rum. Surely, Mac going to be in some trouble as Bosku goes to finish him up. Not quite enough. The Bulk Buff helping out, but finally, he does fall. Alaris. Can't really handle the timber saw, so the rest of the blacklist heroes will be able to retreat behind him. I feel like it's Sunray and the spirits. Yeah. yeah. So much of their their anti heal burst damage. Well, Murano trying to catch somebody. Losing Tim's. Oh no, he missed. Tim's doesn't get stunned. He still gets exploded, and they will be able to burst him down alongside the tower. But now they've got oh, the two that's a good chrono sphere. With the Static Storm on top of it, excuse me, yep, Static Storm. He did commit that one, so double ultimates to be able to kill the Marcy and the Marana. So a core and a support, they didn't get any of the big cores, Mac and the Kashi. I think we've said the same about like when he's playing Kunkka, which is, you know, a little bit more of a stat-up utility type mid-hero. Uh, it allows the greediness of the side lanes to feel better, well, more focused. Someone needs to build on Steam, oh, and it hasn't been anybody else. Or in boat. Unfortunately, Tim's had a horse staff, so he was not hit by that one. Now they're going to get the lunch back. He leaps out of the kinetic field, but into the battery as well. Not so hot there. One hero pickoff, and hilarious. They really got to be careful with these pickoffs because Roshan is a possibility here for Blacklist. They've got their ultimates up. They've got the uh, Chronosphere. They've got Exorcism. They can try and force this one. Oh, oh nice one. And from Pocorino. Double BKBs are going to commit for that one. The two supports are going to be in some trouble here. Nothing else is going to get caught in this explosion from Polaris. In fact, Blacklist is still going to be able to fight this one. Bosco is going to go for it. Max being body blocked up here now. Slowed down by the Spirit Python, and there is just not enough skill. No stage on the side of Polaris. So, if Bosco can get that commitment, he will get it. Well, I guess not. There's just no contest. Man, the Aegis on Faceless Voyager, that feels really good. Do you think Polaris can go late? Is that even possible? Like, if Pocorino... If like, he is going to have the Basher build. Like, there is a chance he jumps on the void and just... A gift from the temple to the I mean, yeah, there's a chance. <laughs> I don't know if how high it is. is the... Not looking so good. He dies here, which he will. He will try and CML are not good enough. Blimps back in. They have a Super Nova out. They don't have any way to protect it. So it just dies like that. Nice and easy. Who supports fall? Mac trying to get out with his BKB. There's no little chase after him. Oh, they have glimpses going down a little bit. Keep the vision and keep not close enough. enough. The glimpse not quite there. You just haven't seen it yet. And Murata ult and smokes should be the way that happens. But here's another one. They're trying to get something. They're just getting run away. 
glimpse back. Oh no, the balloon stopped with Arena's jump and the arrow actually comes in time. Actually, Clint's ends as he was going for the counter initiation. And now the Death Novel's gonna be in some trouble. Pull back here with the Glide Mirror, the manager first him down. Ooh, into that fight. That's not a fight he wants to be in the middle of. He's gonna come back on a second life. Is he gonna get out with his BKB? Very likely. As Pokerino, oh, Pokerino doesn't have the uh, basher because, yeah, he got picked off earlier, so. Never saw it on the Lena, but wouldn't be surprised if it's in there somewhere. I don't know, it's, it's a decent item if you, get, if you get to build into something with it later. Nice little damage Smoke power spike. The DD. Roshan just spawned to the shot over the side. Actually spots Pokerino, gets him inside of the cons while the mana is stuck on the other side. Of him. Stuck inside the static storm, but healed up, actually gonna be okay. Great for Carl. He's going to try and lay into him, but lost sight of him, and the arrow slips on by all of Blacklist. No big ultimates. I mean, they didn't use Chronosphere and Exorcism, at least, on the side of Blacklist, so those are still open. Decent initiation. You're going to poke some BKBs out. It's a question of who has BKBs left. It's pretty much Mac and Raven. Oh, they're going for it. They really, really want to be able to get this. KB is still up for Mac. He's going to pop it now after the glimpse. They managed to get the three man Kronos here. This is what Raven wanted to kind of wait for no way. Inside, but he still managed to get the Phoenix kill. And Mac is going to be chased down. Akashi hoping he doesn't what get back. But Tim's with another hook shot coming on in. Just came up just in time to be able to kill the Nature's Prophet. And Polaris get as Ocarino is going to be the only one. Once the Chrono is down, once the hook shot's down, just a nightmare. Like Blacklist, it's easy. For the rest of the game, we kind of feel secure. I'm like, all right, this is chill. Yeah, you don't you know, do anything. You don't have to make moves. You just respond to what the enemy does, see if they make mistakes. I mean, why do you think Team Secret did it for like three years? They won yeah. a lot of lands off that shit. <laughs> they really did. Blems back onto Boomy into the Static Storm, so he is dead. Bocarino is trying to go for the kill onto Bosco here, and if he got the bashes, maybe he could have gotten it, but... Does manage to timber chain away. That's a pretty good spread. Runway's keeping him alive, actually, pretty decently. The Chakram's doing some damage, and maybe still the chase down with the Spirit Siphon. Bocarino gets low, but he does oh. manage to die. Is he going to pay for it? the commitment there, and yeah, he was giving up his life to be able to get that kill on Bocarino. Maybe that wasn't worth it. Bosku, use that refresher now. Pops it, but doesn't use the BKB. He doesn't have to. I oh, yeah, anyway. Yeah, if you back it's a male on your team. <laughs> uh, that always helps, you know? 2016 Sumail was definitely made a lot of people look like the trash that they thought they were. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't help when you're like trash talking OG and you don't play him and mirror go all right away 20 and Stop zero. on Tim's. Okay. Bad start for Blackwood. Oh, this a good one. A two man chronosphere. Sunray's lined up. That's from the heal these units. They're actually keeping them okay. The static storm is, is locking down a little bit. BKBs go off and they didn't have the damage. Now they have to retreat on out of here. Look at Bocarino. Wanted the kill on Raven. Not going to be able to get it. Overextended himself and now he's dead. They survived through the chronosphere and they thought, well, it's just free game now. Kashi held on to his BKB. Good call by him. He's going to TP out. And he bashes. Oh, one swing was all he got. And it was not a bash from Raven. So it's a lot of heal to be pumped into this. On top of the sprouts in the chrono, I've been spot on from Akashi. Walking out a lot of the damage from this boy. He does not want to play with a Quelling Blade. But might have to at some point in this game. I don't know. Bosco, once again, used his refresher immediately after the BKB usage. So he does have that. If they get the chain stuns, nope, got it off. Got it off. Stunts Chinder chaining away. Should be okay. Raven's gonna come in though. Once again, not getting the first hit bash and is gonna go for the X. X torrent interrupted by Tim's with the hook. Now Bosco goes and finishes him off. Static Storm on out on Akashi. Doesn't have the BKB. It doesn't can't use this satanic either. This is a U finishing him off with the static storm. And nobody from Blacklist is going to let Fire survive. Committed. CML immediately A on disc. Oh, oh, oh. I walk back in. Nimbersaw kill managed to finish him off. He gets a bash. No, Raven managed to time walk away, but they see him tied away. They don't get the bash now. Torino finally gets it. A Yule Scepter onto the clockwork. Blacklist win the first part of the team fight, but Polaris in force. Buy back, and now Roshan is available to them, and it's up to Blacklist. Is Blacklist going to buy back to try and play for Roshan? Making it work, buying themselves an Aegis here through those Chronospheres, quite literally. Murion and Kunkka buyback, double core. 
It is scary, man. It is absolutely scary. Late game slipping away from Blacklist a little. That was the little shot day one. At the same time, I mean, if they get one team fight, Polaris, they'll just lose the game straight up. Akashi in some trouble. The Scythe interrupts the cards push back, and Akashi has a chance here. To still use the BKB if he wants to. X, nice counter. Counter to the glimpse. Full flag. Chronosphere, nice. Sprout usage immediately. The Sunray goes in, healing them up, and that's going to be a wasted Chronosphere. Blacklists are in some trouble now. Carino knows it too. He jumps forward, pop the BKB. They've got the Sun on the ring, and they're locking him down. If they get him, he's dead. They could just force the buyback, and perhaps Polaris can keep on going for more. Pascu at a third of its HP, daring to go for Mac here through it all. With the help of Carl, they will be able to run down Pocarino, but now they've got the Idle waves coming through, and Akashi's laying out the damage. Carl's trying to heal himself up as much as possible, but on the side, Raven did manage to come back and finish off Mac. Akash fighting for his life here with this Aegis. Life number one, gonna go down, but if they can finish off one of these heroes, Bosku living, and the Yule's limbs back, he's gonna be able to finish off one. Akashi trying to go for the teleport out, but it's gonna be denied by the silence. Trying, no, oh, the Yule Scepter just in time. We almost got Bosku, Bosku. Living on a prayer in this last team fight. Played that last one. How much are they going to be able to get? They're going to try and go for two lanes. Not immediately hit for tier four as a team. And it, he can flamethrower for extra damage. They're going to smoke up again. They have a ward. So they're going to ward and try and get the jump for Raven. Again, you're looking for Fury on Arkunka. No buys. Have oh, the flame is here, Mrs. Oh. Oh, Poke gets out of there, now he's going to jump onto the Death Prop, but hits him with the stun, Yule Scepter immediately going down, Poke now pops his BKB, they're going for the Death Prop, and they're going to try and push her down, he needs some more help, though. So they have the second Chrono, the here does manage to catch the Hush, they have to run the Supernova explosion, Lucarino's left on the wrong side of things, though, so, and Mac is being hammered by the, the uh, Faces Void right now, X back in, hold in by the Glimpse, and he's dead, too dead with no buyback, Akashi in some trouble, has to pop his BKB, goes for the Death Prop, Immediately healed up by the good exorcism goes. Oh, they are the running out of power now. They try and leap away. That's a bird hero dead with no buyback. AU finds the glimpse. Attic Storm onto the Phoenix. Up to the finish off as that's all their team fight. Akashi surrounded, matched up repeatedly by Raven. And as well, Polaris will lose game number one as Blacklist do manage to push it to the late game. And that is where their expertise shine. How do we want to play versus Blacklist team that we know wants to do this every single game? They want to go late. They want to have triple carry. They want to get to a point where the force is just way too unstoppable, even with some extra Roshans that I'm not sure Polaris should have gotten in this game. Carl's having a very good time. Mac did get Ice Armor, though. The the bane of every mid laner. A spell of, you shall never kill me again. Ha ha ha. Good luck. <laughs> Extra B5 armor for that period of time. Nice pick off. That's going to be your first blood. So finally, something going right for Polaris as this top lane wasn't super exciting, but we do finally manage to get that kill with the level 2 battery assault and level 2 ion shell, which is just tons and tons and tons of damage. All right. They did not get punished after that rough start. Oak is now completely back network wise. There's a lot of resources. He has boots coming out on top of the mangoes that Boomy has been feeding him. But that's a big kill right there. Bosku showing him who's boss. Always lurking. <laughs> Always waiting. <laughs> this is like your SS. What? You know, I've just heard. The thing is, I played with Quinn. He ranted for six years about the spell, so it's like a green and yeah. green. That's another decent kill here for Blacklist. Because then you just get the free farm some waves. Your carry gets bigger advantage over him. The next time he comes back, that kill is more likely as well. Blacklist having a pretty good laning phase. Gonna try and turn it around bottom. Bounce out of Bosco and pulled into the Doom. Now he did have Onslaught going, but he's still gonna fall. In fact, he dies to CML's right click that followed him all the way after the Onslaught. And he's gonna find them trying to take his stacks. No, 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 no. That's all, Carl's. Hell no, you ain't taking my stacks, son. It. Oh, with the battery assault, they're gonna go for this. He's just gonna kill he's him. gonna be really massive. He's trying to get off the raise. The vacuum goes off. Carl hitting low. They finish him off with the ion shell. Oh god, he's going for the Requiem. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, no, no. They were so ambitious in going for that kill onto Carl. You have Mana ult as well, which gives you some evasion, some, some new speed. 
I mean, Zessa can get buffed up a decent amount in this game. Try and kill him early. Back into the doom. He's Look shot there to follow it up as well. And boy, that arrow, that was lucky. There was a creep to be able to sneak that one up. They're going to try and go for the deny. Not quite. Primal Beast cuts on through. Will be able to get the counter kill onto Max. But they trade one for two on that. Bosku, the recipient of a lot of experience. And yeah, maybe instead of wins the race, uh, completes the race, you know? Well, at least they'll get there in the end. Or dodges the batteries. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one good thing for Polaris right now is uh, thanks to that safe lane tower dying, they do have a bit of an advantage here, but it looks like their mid tower is going to fall unless they want to TP in for a fight here. CML actually stalling his own death for quite some time. The TP's come in, but they're just a bit late. Spark managed to get the pounce on the SF. Not really who he wants, though. Especially not without the Doom here, who only just now arrives. A little bit late to the course, but maybe the hook shot can help him out here. Pulling back in, managed to get the cogs on it too. Can the team even get up there? The high ground is well defended now. The Requiem's gonna go off. They go for the vacuum, but the Requiem oh, sweeps them off their feet in Polaris. Now, oh, the arrow almost landing on Akashi. Dark back, gonna go off, but he can't get a pounce. It's still on cooldown. The Blacklist win yet another engagement. Hookshot's okay, but you used wall earlier, so there's no real sticking power. And this SF had an arcane. So he's not even oh, getting gonna get him down. You're gonna grab him here. Oh, this is just the full wipe on top. Jeez. Brutal. Tim's I mean, all Yeah, that is not a good sign. Like, this is not where you want mid doom to be. You want mid doom to be highest net worth for sure, but you also kind of want him in that, you know, 102, 202 range. He's just having a very smooth game. This, this is just so slow. Kashi is dead Kashi's again. dead as well. Oh, man. Polaris are really falling apart now. I mean, they put up a good fight in game one. Well, all I know is Tim's is dominating. He's also dominating them centuries, so you can say what you want. He's having a pretty good game on his signature Marana here. Look, shot out of the Primal Beast. That's not going to be an easy target because he still has the Onslaught. Requiem goes out, Bosco low enough, and they actually do manage to get him through the raindrop as the uh, uh, stolen wait, star storm. Yeah, the stolen star storm. <laughs> oh, there it is. He went for it. The presence aura affects buildings. I mean, why? They're not hitting any buildings. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> wait, why did he take this talent? This he could have. He could have waited until he was level twenty-seven. I don't even feel like the other talents that bad. But here's Hook Shot. I don't think so either. He's... But. Got it off. Oh, yeah. We did the get baby it. before we did. the Doom. Mac realizing this is going to be another foil Doom as Carl's just nice man up his own BKB. He's going to get off the Requiem, and the Doom just expired on the Doom himself. So Mac is going to fall here, and uh, Bosco is now back into play. He's ready to go, and he's going to go for an onslaught straight through the enemy team here, trying to stomp on a pretty brought out by the vacuum, finished off eventually, but the other two cores are still plenty healthy. Raven hit by an arrow from CML. CML's going to be in some trouble. Bulk does manage to keep the out. Saved his voice. And CML... Hiding away in the trees, cries, but eventually does fall. Two for two exchange, honestly, not the worst. You get BKDs off and a nice overgrowth on the team. And she can salvage it, and now you can go back in because now oh, yes, oh, the BKDs are down. They this is your alone. time to shine. They're going to go for it with the battery assault taken away on Carl, slowing him down. Carl looking for a hurricane fight to be able to get away. He went one direction. Now Raven's back at a play, but they got the two into the cons with the ion shell. Akashi trying to stick on top of this SF. The damage is so slow and he's fucked up back. by Raven. No, he doesn't have enough. They couldn't kill him. Even though the SF was totally isolated, they just going to lose two for that. He's just too tanky with tree and armor on top of this pike HP as they look to claim the heart of Roshan make it even more difficult to bring down the Shadow Fiend if they choose to give it to him. You can also give it to Primal here. Oh, Raven. Oh, Carl. Hey, Raven's been super aggressive with this blink dagger. Love to see him. Come back by. Nice hurricane to get him back down to the low ground. He's just gone. Ran it off. And He's just controlled up for too long. He's going to be hit by the Requiem once again. Oh, he's stuck Carl's on the tree! Winging on him. He's just stuck. He's, he's talking that tree. Oh, what? No. Doom just loves trees, man. He can't help it. Pins, he's going to be hit by the pounds. They're going to try and get the pick off from the support, and they do manage to do so. And Blacklist, going to reset. It's not like they have any abilities, so they'll chill. He doesn't need any help. That's true. A little bit of subterfuge. As Polaris likely think that all the team is behind the SF, but in reality, they're killing Mac.
What's up? What's up, Mac? Got a delivery. Scan is gonna hit. They know where they are. Looking for the big wrap with the Sark Night Vision. This could be nice. If you can start the fight on the CK or the SF with Doom, he just just timed out. Oh, that was the SF, but you're gonna be the perfect. Perfect. The high ground with Doom on him is now beyond BKB. That's the sand part, and especially if he's able to just oh. eat his way out of there. The clockwork's been already. Akashi's just leaping into the night, hoping he can find the SF. Except he's been turning around and hitting him a few times, grunting him attack. Backing back in there from uh, the side of Max. Oh, being East one, but they do not have the damage. And now Carl's back for his revenge. It's a huge wreck for him. Akashi, he tries to go for SF. Now he's just got to pounce on out of there. And another pounce, so should be okay. Three dead, though. Blacklist. Plenty, plenty healthy. This might just seal the game. You don't have Doom for 80 seconds now. No Sparkle, no Beacon. Me. Boss Koo, drums to turn it into boot bearings. He has double boot. What a, I mean, he has a lot of feet. That is not true. He has the normal amount of feet. <laughs> well, you don't know if his front hands are not feet. What are you, a primal beast anatomy expert? I, mean, I don't even, think if so. It's not, that's still a normal amount of heat. Is in four. There are a lot of quadrupeds in Coda Slam. They're up the back. He goes out. I'm killing him. him. Next on here. Oh, fourth half got him away, but the hook shot actually still connects. But nobody else is swallowing that one. But he's by himself there. Akash is trying to go for an easier kill. And his frame is down. That's a nice wall. He's going to die in return. Damn. The beautiful wall goes out. Not quite enough to be able to kill Boss 2. They got the Doom onto Raven, but tech by Carl. Really cannot keep that going. Just nothing to hold him in place. You need the glue. Where's the glue, man? Now Raven's charging at you. That's a fast speed. Holy crap. Three seconds into an arrow. Beautiful pairing. We just covered so much ground. Yeah. Him dealing the damage on the back end. SF that you haven't been able to answer outside of once in the early game. And this Primal Beast is causing you a lot of problems as well. He's tanky, he's getting in your face, being annoying. Where's the reaction? Oh, there he goes, PML. Is there a late moment on the next, and now it's gonna be Doom's chance. He's gonna get caught up in the ultimate. Requiem goes down, he actually is gonna be okay. His blacklist are gonna pack out of there. His SS is down, Primal's is down. Your smoke gets broken. That feels bad. Maybe you can bait on this power room top with a big vac wall. Oh, that's the hope. Oh, how greedy are you? Both need something beautiful here. Akashi, he's gonna take it. Raven sees his opportunity to go for CML again. By the arrow, but it didn't matter anyway. Take the freebie and back out. Again, Blacklist, very disciplined. They don't have to force anything. Yo, BKBs are on cooldown here. Where's just want to get something if they can. Um, okay, they're gonna use the Doom on the Primal Beast here. It's the kill that's possible, but oh, got caught. Oh no, here goes all their team fight. And even if they do kill the Primal Beast, what does it matter if they lose? Why they got denied by tens of all people. GG is called, and Polaris will be knocked down. They will be relocated back down to the uh, lower division and blacklist are for now secure as they are going to be up to a score of three and four and should be out of that tiebreaker scenario.